Hello, my name is Eric Koinaina. I'm a singer and a songwriter, producer, musical theater composer, husband, father, son from Nairobi, Kenya. Many years ago, I was playing Monopoly with my wife and she misread a community chest card. I said something like, pay your opponent 10% the value of all the properties you own and she'd been assiduously buying properties up until that point she misread it and I think she thought it said a hundred or something like a thousand times she paid me she paid me everything she had and over the course of the rest of the game pass and go as many times as she could collecting that 200 she just couldn't catch up no matter how hard she tried Around the world, in the global south, we always get accused of harping on about colonialism. Oh, but it happened such a long time ago, can't you get over it? But up until recently, Haiti was paying France reparations for wanting independence, for fighting for independence. And they had to pay reparations for the end of slavery. Haiti paid France. They say even the Eiffel Tower was built partly with funds that came from that heinous effort. A couple of months ago, I visited Kakuma, which is a refugee camp in the north of Kenya. Um, Kakuma is home to refugees from 14 different countries, from Central Africa, Eastern Africa, the Horn. So you've got people from Congo, you've got people from Rwanda, Burundi, South Sudan, Sudan, etc. Djibouti, Ethiopia, Eritrea. And you've got to remember that the populations from this country, I know, I know we're homogenous. You, so you've got the 14 countries and you've got the myriad communities that make up those nations. So we'd gone up there to record some musicians and when they started to play <laughs> the drummers started to drum the people with the rattles around their ankles, anklets started to, to rattle they started to clap their hands you know, smack their bodies sing at that point you suddenly begin to understand why those who would want to subjugate a people would start by decimating their culture because when those people played they were inspired they were they, they were flying you couldn't tell them what to do Art is not the answer to everything. Culture is not the answer to everything. But we ignore art at our peril. Earth's solutions will not only be conceived by men and women in dark suits and conference rooms with their short hair. You need the colorful, you need the straight, you need the gay, you need the trans. You need the people who are so brave as to choose a path for their lives where success is completely not guaranteed. A group of people who take their precious work, despite all possible accolades, and destroy it, saying this thing is not yet good enough. So if donor organizations around the world want to come and say, okay, let's take care of sanitation, let's take care of agriculture, yes, 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 we must. But if you do not allow art and culture to, to participate, if you want to relegate art and culture 
to the background, to the back seats. Who are we talking as? Who are we? What do we want? This is a discourse, this is a dialogue that's going to happen through arts and culture. Recently, we started a thing called the Salam Sudan Arts Intervention, Salam meaning peace. It's a loose affiliation of musicians from Kenya and Sudan trying to figure out how to communicate three things. Number one, want relief to reach the people who need it most immediately. Number two, was saying no to the use of sexual violence as a weapon of war. Number three, was saying no to the use, to the weaponization of hunger as a weapon of war. We played a gig at the end of the Sudanese Film, film Week. And we, I mean, it was, it was, it was, we'd only had one rehearsal, it was, um, and we kind of had an idea of what we were going to play. But in the moment, the rule book went out the window. It became very clear that the predominantly Sudanese audience had a bunch of songs that they wanted to hear that reminded them of home reminded them who they were and I would like to extend the invitation to join Salam to our brothers and sisters in Gaza brothers and sisters in Haiti brothers and sisters everywhere who are negotiating crisis right now Brothers and sisters of those nations that are oppressing us. Together we can come up with a dialogue that means something.